Every version of ACT released over the past few years has included significant improvements to the integration between ACT and Outlook, recognising that uh, uh, for 96% of us Outlook continues to be our weapon of choice for uh, email and calendar and the like. Um, the integration has been improved this time significantly as well, but focusing on calendar synchronisation and also synchronising ACT contact records with Outlook contacts. Now, uh, there is also support in Act 2011 for Outlook 2010, so now this, uh, this system is working with Outlook 2003, 2007 or 2010. So, um, to synchronise contacts or calendar, it's all triggered from under the tools menu. You may be familiar if you're an Act user now with the uh, copy calendar function that was here, but now that's been replaced by synchronise with Outlook, and there are two options uh, below that uh, tree view. Uh, synchronise contacts with Outlook and synchronise calendar with Outlook. Now, hitting these buttons now will just instantly trigger the synchronisation of that data. So before we do that, it's important to set up the system and determine the preferences that we want to um, control the logic of synchronization and that's all under tools and preferences and the preferences panel looks pretty much as it did before except that there are one or two more tabs now uh, and we've got email and outlook synchronization so you'll see that email synchronization setup is still the same there's a synchronization setup wizard as there was before but in this area we've also now got outlook synchronization preferences which is where we control when you hit those buttons under tool and outlook synchronization how it exchanges data with the outlook calendar and with outlook contacts so if we click on there you'll notice that there are two tabs of information available one is for calendar and the other one for contacts so for calendar then um, first of all tick the box to enable it and some logic that was uh, that was already in ACT uh, previous to ACT 2011, which was that when you were uh, changing a calendar record in perhaps both Outlook and ACT, which one should take priority? But then also, if you delete an activity in ACT, do you also want to delete that activity from the Outlook calendar as well? There is uh, some more granular control in terms of what ACT activities get uh, synchronised through to Outlook under Advanced Preferences. So now you can pinpoint whether it's just appointments, meetings, you know, diarised type of events as opposed to phone calls, to-dos or any other type of activities you might have created in ACT. And then there's the date range. So when you do synchronise, uh, I've got it set to synchronise all events between yesterday and seven days from now. Um, and also if there are ring alarms you can choose whether you want those to uh, trigger in both ACT and Outlook or just one of those applications. So that logic set, I can run this uh, synchronization manually or I can schedule automatic synchronization. And that's a lot easier as well than it used to be where you had to go and set up all the parameters in the ACT scheduler. It's just a case of clicking this button now and how frequently do you want synchronization to occur hourly, uh, daily, uh, weekly, is it every week, every other week, what days of the week, monthly, so pretty much whatever level of frequency you're targeting uh, this system can cater with, or cater for should I say. Synchronised contacts enables me to determine specifically which contacts are synchronised between ACT and Outlook and you can be quite granular in the way that you control this by setting up uh, what's called a, a sync set. Uh, again, existing ACT users might be familiar with remote database sync sets. If not, you may be familiar with the advanced lookup query or the uh, dynamic membership query in groups. It's the same logic control that determines what ACT contacts are synchronized. So if I click on the define sync sets button, you can see a few of these sync sets have already been created. And here's one that I created to use to determine which of my contacts in ACT are synchronised with Outlook. I've just called it private and if I edit the sync set you'll see that the criteria that I've used is where the contact access level is equal to private but again the criteria is just using the the same uh, query manager as in advanced lookups I can look at any field in the database and choose uh, to base the logic on the contents of that field so maybe if I'm a salesperson I might want to include in my synchronization just records where the record manager is equal to whatever my name might be so you're free to set up the logic to limit the synchronization to just the contacts that are going to be important to you rather than overloading your own outlook with everybody else's redundant data that's of no value to you. So as you can see I've got this set up here then just with the private button ticked.
the logic down here is just enabling me to either keep the at contact or the outlook contact if the contact has been changed in both applications and then of course at the bottom is the uh, the automatic scheduler where I can determine how frequently this synchronization takes place I can trigger it manually at any time under the tools menu or I can just have it run as an, an automated procedure on a regular basis as I close this um, uh, synchronization panel it invites me to synchronize now I'll just say no uh, because I just want to return to the tools menu to point out to you once again how you would do that manually just under tools there we've got synchronize with Outlook and the two options synchronize contacts with Outlook synchronize calendar